fine, fabulous, furry friends. My name is Fat Old Guy Ray, and this is the adventurous, the magnificent Dolly. Dun -da -da. Da -da -da. He got it right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so proud of that old guy. Well, we have done a lot of stuff. A lot of crazy stuff has been going on this mm -hmm. whole summer, um, although we're only partially uh, through it. We've been doing all kinds of crazy things. Cliff jumping, like rope swinging. Mosh pit, mosh crowd pits, surfing. Crowd surfing. Obstacle races. Obstacle oh, races. Mountains of fury. The fury, the fabulous fury. Fabulous fury of the mountains in this that's, whole area. That's it's not coffee. Incredible, it's not coffee. <laughs> this is just a ruse. Gin. It's gin. Gin with So you bodies. were cliff jumping. Um, Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in so many places in the world, there are amazing and safe and amazing spots to, to jump from and to experience those wonderful moments from the cliff to the water. So tell me about yours. Well, it's, it's up in Lazy Lake. Like, we've got so many different lakes. And what a stupid name for this lake because it's not lazy at all. Like, I mean, you, you, but you, you become there. lazy, though. When I get there, yeah. I'm lazy. I get my floaty and a float. I don't want to do work. I don't want to... Engage with anyone that's not on the water. It's like a little collective of water laziness. Ah, water laziness. I hit the kayak and I go hard and like I go right up to the rope swing. You're not lazy. Try to do flips and like. Yeah, the rope swing is great. Yeah, I like it. And uh, then we hit up the rocks like a, like a, it's just incredible. Like it, so to me, there's a, there's not much laziness there. It's a fantastic place. Mm -hmm. But also, Dolly here has been doing some crazy ass things like running up mountains, jumping over things, climbing under things. It's, it's, it's just wild. Well, we, uh, years ago, somebody got the insane idea to put together, to take an obstacle course and an obstacle race and make it into a bigger, better business. And I think one of the first were Tough Mudder. Um, there was probably many before, but the one that stands out to me is Mudder. And I did a few of those back in the day and I love them. Who's your mother? Right? Who the mother? Mother. So um, Spartan came up quickly after and they got sponsored by Reebok and they went really big, really fast. And now these little obstacle events that went town to town are is an international phenomenon. And it honestly, it encourages healthy behavior. And a lot of people get set in the mindset that, I'm shaking the table, that, um, that it's, it's the biggest and baddest. You have to be bold to be able to conduct a course and to do it well. And my the first time I did one of these, the most amazing part that I took from it was that in the beginning, or rather in the front of the line, you have your exceptional athletes and the ones that you, maybe you aspire to be like, um, but at the back, you have the 300 pound woman that is just proving something to herself. And honestly, she's more inspirational, or he, than the people ahead. So that atmosphere is what keeps me going back because I really, I mean, mind you, I'm right in the middle, but I really enjoy, it's like going to a wedding. Everyone is excited for one reason, and it's fun. Oh, and I so, yeah, I hiked up a big old mountain. I watched that, that original series that they had on, like, the, the whole birth of, of the thing, and it's it's actually quite incredible that it grew up, mm -hmm. like, that big, that fast. It well, was, people want to be active. They want to be and active. And we, yeah. we don't have that ability, or, or we have all of these other things in society inundating us with reasons not to be active. Here's your video games, here's your television, here's the culture that says sit down, buy this, and shut up. Right? So this is a reverse. I'm going on a bit of a rant. But this is a reverse of um, engaging people to get out, to step outside of their norm. And now it's become a sub-norm because these cultures of people, cultures of people will travel. Mm -hmm. Right? You get people like the people that came to our town a few weeks ago. There were ones that were, were what you'd call a veteran right? in that regard. Of course. Yeah, they got tattoos of the event and they travel around and they bring their families. And I saw people, I saw big old families where like, the paw with like the belly oh, had really? like a t-shirt on that matched his wife and his grand, not a grandkid, but like, cause it gotta be old enough, but, or in there was a family consistency. Mm -hmm. I was cool to see, although they were in my way at the grocery store. <laughs> cause the dad had a big punch. They just, there were so many of them. They just fly the town. The first time, yeah, the guy, it takes a lot out of you. The mm -hmm. first time I did one of these events, I slept in an SUV in a Walmart parking lot. Hell, you one of those. And, <laughs> and we, me and the friend that were there, we're not the only people. We rolled into this town in Alberta and um, there was absolutely no campgrounds, no hotels, uh, nothing. And so when we pulled into Walmart and realized that was gonna be our, our, our deal, 
and then looked around and saw so many other vehicles, we kind of felt like family in that Walmart parking lot. Well, it, beca it becomes like a, like a family uh, t type of thing where everybody is doing this. This. this That's event. what I love. If you are, if you, if you need help out something, you got a stranger sitting there. Like literally, a stranger will come to lift you up <laughs> over that 16 foot wall or whatever it be. Right? There's a, a harmony mm -hmm. there within the stranger component. Yeah, I can't believe I've never actually done it because I love that kind of stuff. Well, um, mm -hmm. I believe that our specific community will have uh, possibly, the hear say is that it'll be back next year, but we do have surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the BC region of Canada and uh, Alberta is next up in a couple weeks. They also have another one in case you think you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could kick it. But on the reverse of that, um, drinking, drinking and yeah. concerts. Oh, concerts and, and drinking. Fun. I love it fun times as one of my jobs i do live sound and uh, there's this one band in this area called elk hunt and uh, they're an incredible band they're my kind of like a, like a reggae ska <laughs> funk punk metal band right? it's like metal and then they add a, there's components where there's a bagpipe and a do do he'll kill me if i don't know the word to this right now an accordion an accordion, an accordion. and it, oh, it adds like a great dynamic to it it's so much fun and uh, so these guys, they're, they're all friends of mine. I've been doing sound for them since yeah. they were called the Honeymans, like uh, way back in the day. And the Honeymans did this, uh, this like uh, guest appearance, like at the, at this gig. But every time they play, even if I'm working, I'm so doing sound. I do, I, I stage dive. Like it's 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 yeah. just one of those things. Like you, you just want. And it. you said it to me. We were both on stage and to the side, of course. I'm not the talent uh, hiding. I was literally just abusing my friend privilege. That's all I was doing. <laughs> And my mom kept kicking my butt, like I was on the side and I was getting hurt. So, um, <laughs> so Ray basically says it's that famous like hold my beer statement. But he said take a picture. <laughs> he was like get the camera, and he goes to the edge, and off he goes. But can I critique? Yeah. Okay. My goodness, what a brave and bold man. He went before me, and I go as much as I can whenever this band plays. But you, you're brave. You went front down as a woman. I don't go front down. Stop, yeah. I completely fall on my back. But I saw you and I was like, hmm. Should I try that? <laughs> do you, because you got stuff up front too. Like, do you ever no, find that you get Nobody touched? ever, uh, well, you do get touched, but it's one of those Not things purpose, like here. It's just like their hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their, their hands and stuff. It's like the labyrinth. It's from the 80s with yeah. David Bowie, all the hands. Yeah. You know, you, you get touched and stuff, Classic but it's reference. it's one of those things that's like, uh, is anybody doing it to be perverted? No. I don't think so. No. No, no, no. But with that said, it's it's just safer as a girl. Go on your back. Go on your back. But yeah. so after you went, um, mm -hmm. and again, every year they play, I, I, I essentially, I'll be out there at some point and I jump because it's, it's safer. It's a small town atmosphere and you know most of the people around. So if, I think if I was in LA, I don't know if I'd feel that comfort of crowd surfing. Oh, but, I've done it in big, big, right? big Right, and, and maybe, maybe I'd get brave enough but at this point but I really have a great love of doing it when we have our little gigs um, in our in our area there mm -hmm. it's exceptionally fun and then you walk away and you feel like a badass who likes to crowd surf that that's what I want to know like mm -hmm. and do you go like front down or do you go like on back or I mean sometimes you get tossed around She's one way or another lady in red. but I can't believe like how well everybody does like they're always wor watching out for you like there's people that that uh, make sure that you're not gonna fall flat on your head when so, you're coming down. And that's a good question. I think that you posing that to our audience uh, leads me into the thought that below this video, we're gonna post Ray's crowd surfing because remember Dolly had the camera. Um, if we can find mine, mm -hmm. we'll post that as well. I haven't seen mine. I'm interested to see it. Um, and then we encourage you guys, if you've got video of some random oh, crowd cool. surfing, it would, yeah. right? I have good ideas. So post it below and then Ray and I, can have a look and maybe get some tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's always fun to learn how to do it and to have more fun with it. But I want to do a floaty. <laughs> Could we next time? Like, have you ever done a floaty? Like, imagine one of those big, like, lollipop ones and you just, like, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I don't know if a floaty would work that well. It would look funny as hell, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> gotta have goals, right? And uh, on right. that note. And on with that note, on with the next. I still think you're shooting them the bird when you do that. <laughs>